Hello there and welcome to Simon Shed and uh, welcome to this quick video uh, just something a little bit different uh, we're going to be fitting a decoder to the uh, DAPOL Class 68 uh, don't normally show this but the reason uh, I thought it'd be good to have a look at this particular one is it's uh, something new to me in as much as the uh, DAPOL Class 68 and uh, some of the new Farish models take a uh, Next18 uh, decoder. So it's an 18 pin decoder. Uh, I've never used one of these before and I've got the uh, recommended one for the uh, Class 68 that DAPOL recommend. So I'll give that a try. And here is the loco. So I guess first things first, uh, let's find out how we open her up. So the instructions say there's four clips here holding the body in and to either uh, pull the body away from the sides and pull the chassis out or get four pieces of plastic and insert them into where the clips are. So I've just chopped up some little bits of uh, plastic card. I think this sounds like the better way to do it. So let's have a go. That's a bit of a big one. blanking plate down here so we have to lift this evenly on alternate sides so I'm just going to give it a little wiggle and off she comes okay so that's the connector there and it was on that way, so if we get the chip out of the box, obviously has the same connector there. And it just clicks in. I think that's in. And I think we're done. Uh, before we put the body on though, I think we'll just give it a quick test. So when I'm uh, programming up a loco, uh, I do it on this little programming track. And at the moment, I just uh, plug that in to the Z21 and unplug the main layout, because obviously any programming signals you send is gonna program everything on the track. So, uh, Let's get uh, the 68 programmed up with the right address and uh, give it a quick test on the layout. There we are. I've uh, just kind of guessed that it would be on address 3, which is usually the case. So I've just uh, given that a bit of power and it does in indeed seem to be working absolutely fine. So I'll program it with a proper DCC address on the programming track. But uh, first, now that we know it's working, we can put the body back on. And there she is, running sweet as a nut on DCC. So hopefully that sort of demystifies the this new kind of Next18 decoder. Uh, certainly not something I've seen before. 
so I hope that was useful but yeah really simple uh, it's basically just slotting it in with the pins on the board rather than sticking out from the edge of the board so yeah it's all good thanks for watching i'll see you soon